hey guys welcome once again to my pro build youtube channel so today we will be discussing this uh, flywheel in ptc creo so this is one of the most important mechanical component as we all knew that and uh, it looks quite simple and all the dimensions is mentioned clearly but some main dimensions are been missing in this uh, orthographic view uh, so we need to presume it you can see here one circle is extruded uh, actually you can find here a circle it is extruded from this bottom surface to just 3 mm and its circle's diameter is not given so i'm going to take it as 36 mm uh, and then here you can find this is the main circle of of dia 95 i'm going to choose this top plane go for extrude so draw a circle of dia 95 so it is extruded for 6 mm so it's given here i'm going to extrude this for 6 mm now i'm going to draw that extrusion circle so this is actually 3 mm it's going to extrude so let me draw a circle of dia 36 again it's going to extrude it for 3 mm now i'm going to make a hole uh, so just go for a hole align this clip to this plane go for placement and change this to align so that it becomes concentric and change this to 30 because it's given here that is circles whole diameter is 30 uh, now click ok so my hole is ready Let's go for round around edges it is 3 actually so change to 3 mm and click OK. Okay, so it's given here. This is R3. Now I'm going to draw this profile along. So for which I'm going to select this surface. Go for extrude. And uh, now I'm going to draw two center lines, facing horizontally and vertically. Now I'm going to make this dimension as 3.5 and this to this is going to be 3.5 because uh, its section is given here this is actually 7 I mean I need to split it this is 3.5 and for this 3.5 so that I'll be getting my profile correctly now you can see here uh, this radius is not given and this radius is also missing only this they have given as r7 so in section view you can see that from this h to this outermost edge is actually 7 so i'm going to increase the circle's diameter radially so either size it is 7 i mean 7 plus 7 uh, overall circle diameter is 95 so i'm going to minus 95 minus 14 95 minus 14 is going to be 81 so my circle's diameter is going to be 81 so draw a circle of of dia 81 now another circle uh, from this hole edge to this edge is going to be 7 so which means I'm going to up uh, this is actually 30 plus 14 I mean 30 7 plus 7 it's 14 so it's 44 I'm going to draw another circle it's 44 of circles diameter now I'll draw a line intersecting this central line and delete all the unwanted segments here I can find some more unwanted segments. So here, this part, this, this, and in this. So my profile is ready. Just go for some uh, 
five. I just miss this piece. Now click OK and flip it so that it gets removed. Now you can find here they have given as R7 radius. So I am going for round. Select H, change to 7, and this H, this, and even this click ok so my one side material is removed uh, I mean is ready now I'm going to select this and this just go for a group select this group go for pattern go for axis pattern and here I'm going to select my axis and click this button click ok so my part is ready uh, final touches they have given one chamfer here this is 0.4 into 45 so all over edges I need to make into 0.45 click this edge change to 0.5 change all the edges to 0.45 and even this side click ok so my flywheel is completely ready now I'm going to change my view as given in the part. So this is actually steel. Just go for view, go for appearances, change this to the steel, stainless steel, select, double click. Now go for shading with the reflection. So my part is ready. So thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I'll be discussing all complex drawings, simple drawings as well, related to this mechanical engineering so please do subscribe my channel and thank you for watching